All right, guys, so this is all the material I'll be using for the base of the tray. Got it all laid out, marked out. So I'll run you through sort of each section, um, how I'm gonna be cutting it and yeah, the material I've used. So these first three here, they're all 75 by 25s. Um, they're all getting cut at 1750 and the SQ just stands for square. So where I've marked my line, they'll all get cut square off. Um, this next one is actually the back sort of tail light board um, where the tail lights and the number plate will get mounted to. So it's 150 by 50 and it's getting cut at 1850 because that's width of the tray um, and long point to long point. So you can see that's the cut there. But if I roll it on its edge, um, there's a 45 degree um, because the side will come off that. And same up that top end, there's another 45 degree mark. So that's what long point and long point means. Um, these next two are the same. So these two, uh, these are sort of like the bearers of all the weight. So I'll be welding mounts to this that'll mount to the chassis mounts. So uh, these are both 150 by 50s getting cut at 1600. Well, they're actually already cut at 1600, but that's the measurement and they're both square at both ends. But what I'm gonna be doing is coming down 50 mil here and 200 mil here and that'll be getting cut off. Um, it'll make more sense when I actually weld the tray up, but basically that bit is actually gonna weld to the back of this. Um, so this will be sitting sort of 50 mil up here. Um, it's probably a bit hard to explain for now, but rather than it sort of then sitting squared, so that 100 mil there would then stick down gross. So I wanted to pull it back on the angle so I can plate it and it won't look as ugly. Um, obviously the same one there and then it's just these last three are all 100 by 50s uh, this one here is the back piece so the closest piece to the cab so that's the same width as obviously the tail light one so 1850 long point to long point again as you can see there it's got the 45 and then these are both the sides so 150 uh, so 100 by 50 100 by 50 and the length of the tray is going to be 1650 so that's what they're getting cut at um and then the long point at long point so you get my mark there 45 on top same with that one and so there's only nine lengths all up and this is the measurements on paper if you want it so you can see the cut list there and then these are the checkouts that i've got to do so there's the um two bearers here um obviously with that 100 by 200 cut out and then that's the tail light piece um, because the sides are hundreds um, i'm going to be going from 100 mil down and then the reason i've gone 1400 in between is because that's the measurement in between the tire tread so it just sort of gives you a visual pickup point so that leaves me at 225 in from the edge up to 50 so It'll all make more sense when I actually get to cutting it and tacking it up. But at least now, if any of you want to copy this or do a similar tray, you've got the cutting list and it's all on paper for you. So it's actually not time at the moment, but tomorrow when I get a bit of daylight, um, yeah, I'll get all these cut, lay them out, tack them up and give you a better look. It's the next day now. I've got all the steel lengths out here. Got the metal cutoff saw basically i'll start with all the square cuts so i'll do all them then i'll change it to 45 degrees and i'll start doing all the miners once that's done um i don't think the cutoff saw will get it so i'll probably have to use a grinder or a um, metal circular saw and i'll cut all these um angled sections and on those two there as well so shouldn't take me too long and then i'll go back inside lay it all out tack it and square it up and then once it's all tacked up, I'll probably chuck it on the back, uh, make sure I'm happy with the height and everything because one of the main issues I'll probably have is the 37s. I don't want to have to lift the tray up too high, but I also don't want to um, be hitting on the tray on up travel. Um, so yeah, I'll just test out some heights and stuff and I'll show you how I'm going to make up the mounts once this is all cut as well. So I've finished all the miter cuts. Um, I've taken the sort of perimeter inside and what I'm gonna do, um, I've laid it upside down because obviously that back tail light board is um, sort of longer or wider. So if I was to have it the right way around, it wouldn't sit flat. Um, but all the 
top's going to sit the same height. So tip it upside down. And now what I'll do is you get a measurement from that corner to this corner, that corner to this corner, and that'll give you um, an idea of how square it is. Um, if that one is longer and that one is shorter, then it means you've got to push that corner towards that corner and it'll make this way longer. Um, and basically you just keep making little adjustments until they're both the exact same measurement and then you know your tray is square. So that's what I'm about to do now. And then I'll do a couple of tack welds once it's square. And then um, I'll just double check that the width and everything's the same as well. And from there I can start using my um, middle pieces that'll go across here. I can tack them in as well. And then once it's all tacked up, um, I'll take it back outside to weld it out. All right, got everything tacked up, sitting square. Um, these 75 by 25 bits, you can see there's a 25 mil gap because I wanted them flush at the bottom, but um, lower at the top so that when the floor sits on it, the floor sits sort of five, 10 mil down from the top of it. Um, and then I marked them out at 400 centers because from over that edge to the inside of that edge, it's 1600, so that means 400 centers. And then um, when I put the bottom bearer bits on um, that the mounts are going on to, uh, that'll also weld into the back of that to give that back tailboard a bit of extra strength. Um, normally I would have put like a little cross brace in there, but when they go in, that'll brace that. So if I hit anything on the rear end, it won't bend. So now I'll take this outside, fully weld it off. Um, and then you can see I've got a couple of little sections to just plate there. Um, and then that basically wraps it up until I make the mounts. Um, but yeah, once all this is welded, I'll take it outside, chuck it on the car and figure out my height before I weld any mounts on. So I've gone through and I've welded the tray off. Um, just gonna grind back the um, top ones so they're nice and smooth. And then basically the way I'm gonna mount the tray is I've gotten this bit of 150 by um, 50 and I've just gone 50 mil increments and then gone from corner to corner. Uh, once I cut these fully off, then it'll sort of give me an L bracket that I can weld to the um, side of the bits of 150 out there. It'll make a bit more sense once I've got, cut these and I'll tack them in place. Um, and yeah, basically these will be able to let me adjust the height and then I'll just drill holes through the bottom here on all six of these mounts, and that's what will mount to the actual chassis itself. So this is how I've done my tray mounts. Basically, um, I wanted to lift the tray 50 mil, so these just sit 50 mil from there to the bottom here. Obviously welded off both sides, so they're gonna be pretty strong. Um, I've already done the other one as well, as you can see there. So now, all I have to do is drill a hole center and center. Um, for a big enough, probably like a 12 mil bolt. Then I can bolt this down to the chassis, get it all square and lined up. And then I'll sit the tray on top of those two bearers, um, get that all nice and aligned, and then I can tack the bearers to the tray, then pull it back off, weld that off. And then I'm pretty much done, other than the um, floor, of course. So yeah, making pretty good progress at the moment. Got the bearers bolted up. So you can see that's how the mounts work there. Uh, just got to get another couple bolts for the middle ones, but both are bolted up, sitting dead parallel, um, and same measurements off the cabin over them. So now I'll be able to lift the tray out, sit it on top, and get that in position as well. All right, I've got the tray sitting up there now. All the um, welds are grinded back, and you can see it's not even tacked on or anything. It's just sitting on those bearers. I've just done some measurements from the top of the tray to the um, line there, and it's parallel both sides. And then you can see this is where the bearer butts into this to give it extra strength. So that'll get welded to that, which can stop this from having any movement in and out. Um, and then all these will get welded to the bearer everywhere. Um, so the only thing I've got to check now is just to make sure it's dead center, um, which I can take measurements from the cab as well as off the chassis and off the bearers and everything. So. I'll get it nice and centered, weld it on, and then that'll probably do me for today because I've got to figure out what measurements and angles I'm doing for the headboard. And then I've got to get some more grinder discs so I can cut that angle there. Because that's basically what I was saying before is I don't like how it just goes square. So if I take it back from there to in line with the tow bar, it'll look nice. 
and then I'll plate the opening of it there. So yeah, pretty happy with it so far. That's all welded on now. I've only done the ones that I can access from above. So each side of the um, intermediate ones, the end, end ones there, obviously here. Um, but tomorrow I'll be taking the tray off and turning it upside down anyway to plate in here and stuff. So when I do that, I'll get nice clean welds there, there. I'm just gonna weld absolutely every single um, part that I can. And I'll probably get some flooring tomorrow. But for now, um, I'll probably figure out what I'm going to do with my lights. I'm unsure whether I'm going to do single round one here or I've got some inside that I'll grab and show you. But they're sort of just cheap eBay ones. They're sort of like a oval shaped. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure yet. We'll see what looks best. Right, so I've just gone to the local fab shop and picked up the rest of the material I should need for this tray. Um, the top is just the checker plate sheet which should do the whole floor um, and then I've got the 40 NB stuff um, which is sort of 50 mil outside diameter that's going to do my mud guards so I'm making them out of the tube just got to bend them up um, then the next bit is a bit of 50 mil uh, flat bar just so I can easily weld up all the open sections on the notches and stuff I've done rather than trying to cut up a bit of um, RHS or something, I can just weld that straight in, it's already at the right width. And then I've got some uh, 60, 65 NB stuff as well, which is like 75 mil out of diameter. And that's what I'm going to do um, my headboard out of. I wanted something a bit thicker, um, just to be stronger. And I think it just looks better too, because um, it's getting a bit closer to the um, width of the snorkel and stuff, so it all ties in. Um, and then i got these two... Um, angles because they can't actually bend um, 65 here their bender doesn't do it so what I'll do is these are just 90 degree bends but mine's gonna be at like 70 degrees I think so I'll just have to find out sort of where that angle is and mark it and cut it on the drop-off saw um, then obviously just template it on the other one but it'll actually probably make my life easier because then all I've got to do is just butt this into a straight piece of pipe rather than stuffing around with bends and Obviously, the only other thing I'll have to do is once it's welded off, is grind the welds back nice and flush so it still looks nice. But I reckon this should make it pretty easy to do at home. And these were only like 30 bucks or something, so can't complain. Oh, I've got a bit of a deadline, so I haven't been filming everything in depth. But I've got the floor um, cut in, cut that on the guillotine. And now I've just done a few little tack welds. Uh, when I pull the tray off next, I'll sort of do longest stitch welds and then the rest I'll seam seal once it's painted and then underneath I'll do tack welds as well basically I just keep going around you can see where the heat marks are from underneath as well I just went around until there was no vibrations so before it was rattling on all the loose spots but now it's pretty good and by the time it's welded in stitches and seam sealed it won't move at all so that's come up pretty good and now I can move on to the headboard so I'll start trying to figure out the angles and the measurements. Um, I'll probably tack them inside and then test fit it. And if I'm happy, and once I'm happy, I'll fully weld the headboard off, tack it onto the tray. And then, yeah, hopefully once the headboard's on, I can pull the tray off and weld everything off that hasn't been welded yet. Um, the mud guards are going to be a bit of a sort of a mission just because um, I couldn't get access to the bender. So I'm just going to use lots of 90 degree butt joints, um, tack them in place, get all the bends right using them, and then obviously weld the bends off and then sand them back, which will be take a bit longer, but it might actually make it a bit easier to get the angles right rather than um, doing every angle at once. I'll be able to do one at a time. So these are the little joiner things I'll be using to get the headboard. So this is the top section. Um, basically my plan is to chuck one of the butt joints in there, weld that off fully um, and then I can sit this edge up on the head, um, on the cab, figure out the length of this because that hasn't been cut yet. Um, then I can cut that square, put the other one in and then once these are both welded on as 90s and sitting nice and square, I'll come back and probably have to cut it somewhere along there um, to change the angle from 90 to like 60 or something. And then I can weld those pieces on, 
and do the same thing. Just got to figure out length and everything of them. So a bit of calculations and stuff, but I'll start sort of figuring that out now. Oh, it's a bit ghetto, but basically I put these two blocks in to get it parallel with the roof. And then I've lined up this side where I want it to sit um, in terms of the start of the bend. And then I just got a measurement from like the gutter and from that join there to there. And I've come on this side and I've done that little mark there in the same spot. So now if I cut that square there, I can weld the other one of them on. And then the last part is just getting that angle, which basically I just need to get from that point down there up to here by holding, well, once I cut that angle there, I'll be able to hold it up here and sort of stencil it on. See how we go. Got both sides tacked up. And when I sit it up like that, it sits perfect with no rocking. So they must be pretty good or close enough at least. So now I'm gonna figure out the length of the side pieces so I can work out the angle um, on both cuts and height wise as well. So I've taken the side pieces and the top piece inside and then I used a little jig by basically making the um, tray width at the bottom which is the 1850 getting the height right and then I used my square to find out the angle. Um, it was a bit hard to sort of show you what I did but basically I've ended up with 18 degrees at the bottom, um, 18 degrees at the bottom and then obviously because you're becoming, you're creating a 180 degree um, the way you get the top two angles is you just go 180, take 18, take 18, um, and then you divide that by two, and I ended up with 72. So that um, 90 here um, needs to be cut at 72 degrees, that 90, 70, uh, 72 degrees, and then I'll cut um, at the very bottom of that one at the 18, and basically then all I've got to do is trim it to height, um, which I'll yeah, keep it long to start with and play around with a few different heights, see what I prefer. Um, and all I have to do is just keep recutting that square cut, which is super easy to do. So I'll cut these top sections now and just double check it all looks right. And fingers crossed I'll get it right first go. It's getting pretty late and pretty dark, but I've got this all tacked up. Um, I've got the joints actually fully welded, but that's just sitting there at the moment. Um, just double checking my heights for parallel and width and everything and sort of having a little look at the angle and the height that I'm happy with but yeah that's pretty much the look I'm going for there sort of follows that door angle up um, sticks out a little bit the whole way through so that if I lean it against the wall or anything it should protect it and then at the top it's sitting up about 20 30 mil I want it to hug it pretty tight so I'm pretty stoked with this um, I'm just going to pull this back down now because obviously I've got all the welds there so I'll grind them back as smooth as I can get it and then I'll be able to tack it around the bottom and that'll pretty much do me for tonight. Um, tomorrow uh, I've got a bit of 50mm and 40mm tube. I'll probably end up going one along the bottom there and then probably a V as well. We'll see how I go. Got the headboard fully welded on. Super happy with how it's come up, height, angle and everything. I'll give you a better look tomorrow um, with the light. But you can sort of see if I come back here, that's the look I'm going for. Got back, all the um, welds pretty smooth. By the time it's powder coated, you won't even see that um, there's welds and stuff there. So yeah, um, tomorrow I'll be tackling the uh, guards here basically come up weld to the side here drop down and in so it's just basically a, f a few it'll be 90 degrees there and then that'll be a 45 45 and then another 90 so hopefully it doesn't take as long as what this headboard did but it'll probably be a tedious job again just because of how much welding and grinding there'll be on all those joins um, just about to mount these reses up again. Might mount them sort of inside here. So we've got access to the dial there. I'll just tap some um, nut certs into the side there 
and then I've got brackets that hold these in. So that would be the last job for tonight and probably cable tie them up so that they're not dangling down. But yeah, making pretty good progress. All right, so I've realized that this uh, tray video is gonna end up being an hour long if I put it all in one part. So I'm just gonna cut it here and I'll pick it up in the second part. So hopefully you guys are enjoying it so far and I'll catch you in the next video which should be out um, by the end of the week anyway so you shouldn't have to wait too long but the tray is done and you'll see the um, final product very soon cheers